Guys, he may go 50. I don't know. Oh my gosh, this is bigger than I thought. Pretty shallow over there. This spot looks okay. Um, I'm anchored in 14 feet of water. It gets shallow really fast, uh, but there's a back eddy right in here. Um, so I got a feeling most of the action though is gonna come at the tip of that tree and then out because it drops to like 25 feet out in the middle here. So we'll, we'll give it a whirl. Good fish, good fish, good fish guys. Keep going. near a flathead, I don't know. Well, maybe it's a blue. Good line. I'm pretty sure it's a blue, guys. Maybe a striper or something. He's moving so fast. That's a blue. Pretty nice one. Pretty nice blue, guys. For a second, I was thinking like a striper because he just kept going. Like he went, it was this rod, and he went all the way around. And then just the short bursts of energy. Yeah, I'd say in the 20s. pretty good day guys I'm not gonna lie gosh he is digging it's been a pretty good day fishing some new down trees
we are in shallow water, so it's probably why he has a lot of energy right now. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Maybe 30, I don't know. It's a, I don't think he's hooked in the corner of the mouse, so I gotta, I gotta get the net on this guy. I'm gonna get the net just to play it safe. We got him. Oh. Woo, he's got me in the thirties. Oh my gosh. That's fish number seven. Wow. That's a good fish, guys. 34. All right, guys, here we go. 34 pounder. Going back to the depths. That's why it's always good to wear that lanyard so you don't lose your grippers. Oh, he's ready. Wow, what a fight that was. Very good fish. Oh no. No. Good fish, guys. My drag locked up for a second. This is a giant right here. No joke. He's still pulling. Man, look, listen to this.
corn. I think we're going to do it. Uh, swimming at me now that fish pulled so much line guys literally so much line My battery died there, so I had to change the battery and fight the fish at the same time, which is not fun. But here's the fish. He's, I don't know, in the 30s, I know that. Another new spot for me. What a day this is. Uh, he may be in the 40s. I don't know. We're, we're going to have to net him, though. It's on the Demon Dragon rig. Whew. Guys, what a day this has become. This is... I'm telling you, one of my best days I've been by myself. I'm glad you guys are here with me. My drag locked up on me, which rarely happens, but it locked up. So I'm going to have to do some maintenance on this reel. I should probably check all of them. But this fish was screaming so much drag as soon as I put pressure on him. Okay, he's here. Let me get the net. Oh, he's bigger than you. Yeah, he's he's got to be in the 40s. He's got to be in the 40s. And I got to keep him away from the motor here. A lot harder when you're doing all this by yourself, that's for sure. We got him. some more line here. Oh. Guys, he may go 50. I don't know. Oh my gosh, this is bigger than I thought. This is a giant of a fish, guys. He may go 50. Oh my goodness. This fish came right on the demon dragon. I'll show you. Right here. And guys, to be honest with you, I think this is my biggest fish ever on the demon dragon rig or Santee rig. So that's a that's a bonus for me. Fifty-two pounds. That's a solid fifty, guys. That's a solid fifty pounder. The scale went to fifty-two pounds, minus two pounds for the net. Fifty. All right, guys, here we go. 
50 pounder new spot awesome fish let's get this fish back to the depths oh. whoa man i think she's ready she's clamping down she's good oh What a fish, what a battle. Oh, what a day. All right, guys, I thought I had this on video, but I guess not. But I just pulled in this blue. So, solid. Let's go ahead and release him. Yeah, sorry about that guys. I thought I had that on video, but I guess I turned it off because I was about to reel in these lines and then a rod just went down, so I forgot to turn on the video. Sorry about that. It's been a really good day for me. Uh, honestly, this has been the best day this year as far as fishing by myself. And I don't get a lot of I don't get a lot of time to do that since I'm a fishing guide and but now that I'm in wrestling season, uh, I've, um, I'm done with the guiding for the rest of the year. And once wrestling season's over, I'll be able to resume my guiding again. But I had an open week because my wrestling tournaments got canceled due to COVID and all that stuff. So I figure why not get out and scout out some new spots. And that's what I've been doing. And it's been a really stellar day. A 50, a 34, a 31, and plenty in the teens. I mean, we're at nine fish. It's just been an awesome day. So I appreciate you guys watching. And but I'm gonna hit one more spot, I think. I'm gonna go on the other side of the island and uh, see what I can find. So stay tuned. All right, so I'm at my last spot. This spot seems pretty good because one, it's very deep. I'm anchored in uh, 31 feet of water. There's some timber coming out of the water, but there's also like a big hump here. So I'm thinking this has got to be a good spot. So we'll, we'll see.
decided he wanted to take it. The small one. Yay, flathead! Small one. Cute little guy. Whoops. It's a nice flathead, guys. I'm telling you, flatheads have a special place in my heart. They're just such an awesome fish. Oh, that other one's about to about to go. It seems. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to go and call it quits. Um, no complaints today. The bite was really good. Um, we caught 10 catfish. Oh, and we're still getting action. Like, that's the thing. We are still getting some action. Now, look at this far right one. I just casted it out, and it's already getting hit. That's what I'm saying. It's just such a good day to be fishing. Um, Probably a small flathead, who knows? But um, I'm gonna go ahead and reel them in and head back to the house. I got I got a far drive up river to get back to the ramp, so it'll probably take me 30 minutes or so. Uh, but I'm I'm glad that I explored new spots and they all panned out, but one spot. One spot did not pan out, but that doesn't mean that it's not good it just means that there wasn't a fish active in that tree but every other every other spot i'm telling you produced so and we caught some really good quality fish biggest being right at 50 and then that 34 and 31 pounder so and then we had several in the teens and then we had one break off uh, as well but i'm already over that and i probably say this is the best trip i've had by myself and I don't know five or six years I don't get a whole lot of time to do that anymore uh, due to guiding and everything but I'm glad that I uh, branched out and fished some new spots so this would be good for my future guide trips as always guys give a thumbs up for this video and we'll see you later